Oh, big fat tacos, oh, big fat tacos, so big. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Y'all like big fat tacos? Me too, but I haven't had one with beans in forever and it makes me sad. Uh, we're back on YouTube with this. Hell yeah. And I also feel alive. With the exception of my headache, but that'll be okay. How are you all today? The song's a jam, man. Anyway, shut up. There we go. I need to turn it down on my end. Turns out it's way louder than anticipated. This is on my end, not yours. Don't freak out. Okay. Ah. Wonderful. Portland. Talk to me, baby. Ah, Weeble, the man who unmasked the heretic in our midst to watch away over the pleasure of your company. Oh yeah, uh, dragon, dragon Christians. You are an associate of Yestola, but of course, Lord Drillmond confided to me that you were a scion of the Seventh Dawn, and they're all dead. What do you look like? Ignore my underwear. Mmm. Mmm. I think I'll just take the money. Astrum Sentry? What interest have you all in the Imperials? They hold several of our number. Whom we intend to free. Any information you can provide would be greatly appreciated. I see. That might explain our scouts' reports. They observed prisoners being led into the castrum. A Huron woman, an Elizan man, and two Lollifels. One male and one female. Papalimo, Tataru, Menphilia, and uh, Urianje. It, oh, I wasn't even reading. It's them. It has to be. Minfilia, Rianje, Papalimo, and Tataru. Yep. If that scant morsel is of use to you, you may also be interested to hear about a more re recent incident. Incident? An Imperial airship made an emergency landing here in Curthis not long ago. Two men believed to be prisoners, a Regardin and a Lalafell, were seen fleeing the craft. Oh, the engineers, Biggs and, and Wedge. What did you say? A Rugadin and a Lollafell, Master Garland. Neither wore Imperial dress and both seemed dis dis disinclined to wait for rescue, hence our assumption that they were prisoners. Well, I'll be damned. It's Biggs and Wedge. Wigs and Bedge. Trust those two rascals to escape. We must find them, Weeble, and soon. The Imperials will not rest until they are captured or killed, and if Biggs were given the choice, I fear he'd take the latter. Bring those held in Castrum Sentry will require substantial planning and preparation. As such, is it is an endeavor that will admit some slight delay. The matter of the escapees, by contrast, will not. 
Shortly after the prisoners vacated the airship, our scouts observed Imperial troops setting off in pursuit. It is likely only a matter of time before they catch them. If you wish to see your comrades again, you had best act now. If, as has been suggested, the Garleans took our fellow Scions prisoner in hopes of understanding the Echo, it seems reasonable to assume that they will not be ex executed until such time as the study is complete. The Biggs and Wedge are not Scions, nor do they own not no aught of the Echo. As Lord Portolin said, this may prove our only chance to rescue them. I say we seize it. Wait, what about... Where's Thankerid? Thank you, everyone. You won't regret this. Ba -da, bum -ba -da -da -da, bum -ba -da -bop. Nice. Bum -ba -da -bop. Ma oh. Darth Vader. Final preparations are almost complete, my lord. There stands the culmination of five long years of painstaking work. But all our efforts will be vindicated when the Emperor's vision becomes reality. At last, we have the power to purge this land of its false gods. We shall give the ignorant children of Eorzea the security and stability they so desperately crave, and which their spineless leaders have so palpably failed to provide. As you say, my lord, rest assured our engineers will not rest until the weapon is fully armed and operational. Itaten, you depart for Castor Moxidens at midnight. You will command the Western Front in Vilbrand. Vilbrand. The Aeorzeans will attempt to interfere with our plans. You will see that they do not. My lord, if this be your will, I shall carry it out to the best of my ability. I live only to serve the Empire. Yet, forgive my impudence, but it is proper to give command of half our forces to a... I've given you nothing, Prefectus. You have earned it. That will be all. Dismissed. Yes, my lord. If it's a what? A regarding? Damn. My quarter's one hour. Whoa. They're gonna bang. Nice. Why'd you stand up and then sit down? Hmm. Uh, nope. Uh. Eh. Hmm. Eh, I'll go for gold for this as well. Or the gold piece. My purpose here is to reconnoiter Garlean activity along Abalathia's spine. Owing to this, I have the honor of being acquainted with Yishtola. Now, the report of the Imperial Airship's emergency landing came to us by the way of Zamel Darkhold, situated to the west. Our man stationed at the entrance, a knight named Verselt, might be able to tell you more, so as to expedite your mission. I shall furnish you with a letter of introdu introduction. I pray that you will soon be reunited with, reunited with your comrades. May the Fury grant you strength. Wait, please don't make me do the Darkhold. 
Oh. I did a minion swap. Oh, hey. I summoned... Sylvester Stallone. But I hope I don't have to do Zemail Darkhold again. It's an alright dungeon, but I don't have to do it for the quest. For, like, story progress. Dang. Talk to me, Bruce Elp. You stand before it's a male Darkhold, the subterranean fortress excavated by the greatish guardian house of the same name. None but the authorized may enter. I am authorized. A letter from Lord Portalan. Yes, yeah, so you have come about the Imperial airship. According to our scouts, the vessel had scarce touched the ground when a pair of, ca of men, captives by, all, captives by all accounts, burst forth and bolted. Imperial soldiers have since been sighted in the area seeking to recapture them. What? The captives are your friends, you say? Then let us pray they are yet a step ahead of their pursuers. The emergency landing reportedly took place near the Orem Vale, situated south and west of here. I suggest you take your search there. Seek out a na knight named Pieramon. He should be able to assist you. Am I going to have to do Orem? Or are we just skipping from dungeon to dungeon? Or are we just, is this just leading us to Mordona? It could also just be leading us to Mordona. Bum ba da ba ba ba. Ew. Ew. Gross. Can I panic while moving? No. Negative. Nuh uh. Not happening. Imperial airship? Aye, I saw it approach to land with mine own two eyes. I hastened to the landing site, arriving just in time to see the vessel take to the skies again. Why is this accident happening? But not before it had deployed a, de a detachment of troops. Graph orders were being barked, and there was an air of consternation about them. Hmm. Tell me. There were prisoners aboard the airship, it seems, and they seized the opportunity to flee when the vessel was forced to land. The Garleans who were deployed formed search parties and proceeded to scour the wilderness. In order to alert our forces, I returned to my post. To find evidence that someone had been here in my absence. Whoever they were, they tried the door to no avail and decided to go elsewhere. All in all, I marked two sets of footprints, one large and one small. Search the area, mayhap you will be able to follow the prints to their owners. Hmm. Footprints in the middle of a foggy winter's day. Stop following me, Sylvester Stallone. What I get instead? Oh god. I got a Disney villain. Footprints. Obviously Lalafell feet. Well this way. Pistons of wind, so I can move slightly faster. More Lalafell feet. Where are they going? Fury's gaze? That'd be a bad place to go. Maybe this big old crater. I'm looking. God check. Mod check, mod check. 
Oh, he's wobbling. That's my job. How dare he? Oh, more up ahead. They went pretty far, I see. Ah. I seem to have discovered them. Hmm. I wonder where they are. Hello, any he trolls? Hey, Wedge. Can you freeze them to death, Onion Boy? This cold. I w w want to go home. Yo, what up? <laughs> Please don't eat me. I'm not nearly as succulent as I look. It's all skin and bones underneath, I swear. <laughs> Weeble, it's you. Thank goodness you're here. It's been... It's been awful. The garlands were snapping at our heels like a hungry pack of wolves. I was so hell-bent on evading them, I knew almost ran headlong into a monster's gaping maw. Thrice. And when I finally found cover, it hit me how cold and hungry I was. You want some steak? Biggs? He... He isn't here. He went off in a different direction to lure our pursuers away. Wop, wop, wop. It's me, Sid. Have you had any success? Track down Wedge? That's wonderful news. Now, what's a Biggs? He fucked off. I see. Well, it hardly surprises me that the big fellow went off as he did. For all the tongue lashings he gives Wedge, he's always taken care of him. Scoured the area surrounding the Darkhold, but have nothing to show for it. At any rate, we know for a fact that Biggs headed west. Uh, with both Ida and Yashtola helping out, I'm sure he'll turn up soon. Now then, I'll make my way over to your position while keeping an eye out for Biggs. If memory serves, there should be an Ishgardian fortification not far to your west. Monument Tower, I believe it's called. Let's just meet there. Dare I hope. Was that Master Garland you spoke with? After five long years, thank goodness he's alive. I'm feeling better now, Weeble. Let's go to Monument Tower and wait for the Chief to arrive. Yeah. Very cute. Whoop. Cold bird defeat. Oh, we are going to the Fury's Gaze. You think I could take him? Let's find out. Okay, then. I didn't even need to do that. <laughs> I got literally no reward for that. It's just nice to be able to finally assert dominance over those level 50 elite guys. They've been a terrifying presence ever since the very beginning of the game, and it's nice to finally be able to beat some of them. Hello? Hello? 
Well met and welcome, adventurer. What brings you to this frozen corner of the realm? Looking for a dude named Sid? Oh, it would seem your companion is kind of chill. Come and warm yourself by the fire. I'll bring you a, bring you a hot broth. Yo, chicken, nood chicken noodle soup. How are we feeling now, then? Stay here as long as you need. The same goes for you, friend. Tis, a pl tis plain you have a hard journey ahead of you. You must find rest when you can. Nodders. Nice. Hell yeah. Thanks for the gill. And the chicken noodle soup. There's something up top. Well, for now, I sit in the flame. Evil's roasting in an open fire. Hey. Talk to me, hammer boy. I'm fine now, thanks to you. But I can't bear to think that Biggs is still all alone in the cold with garlands on his heels. He lured the enemy away for my sake, and now he's suffering for it. I hate to have to rely on you again, Weevil, but do you think you could search for Biggs? I haven't the slightest notion where he might be at the moment, but maybe, just maybe, the people here have seen something. Have you seen a Rugaden in goggles? You regarding gentlemen just in the same manner as your companion? I'm sorry, but he did not come by here. Mm, let me think for a moment. I will not raise your hopes unduly, but there is a cave situated a short distance to the south. We call it the Fury's Gaze, and it might be worth the while to investigate. And make the suggestion only because your friend seems like the selfless sort. Rather than drawing the enemy to this tower, may have be elected to pass us by. Man, Biggs is a bro. A big bro. Yes, I have three differently colored dogs. I played a lot of rival wings for these dogs. Eggs! Plasmoids. Oh my god. Hmm. Any demons around? Just plasmoids? Oh! Demons? And just like that, ghosts have been banished. It's just that easy. Hello! Weevil, were you able to learn anything? Not in this area. Well, that stands to reason, I suppose, seeing as he was trying to lure the Garleans away from me. Or where within this vast sea of snow and ice could he be? Well... Who knows? Who really knows if, the, if maybe the last dungeon that I have yet to unlock here is where he went? <laughs> Notorious B-I-G-G-S. We can't give up, Weevil. We must find Biggs before he succumbs to the cold or is recaptured. There must be someone in this tower who can help us, even if it's only to tell us where else to look. Ask them for me. Ask anyone who will listen. And hurry! Biggs' chances of survival grow slimmer by the moment. Why don't you ask with me? There's a lot of people in this tower. Go ask the people outside. Now go upstairs. As fast as my little legs can take me, which is apparently really, really fast. 
Look at me go. Hello. Ignaz. Friend is lost in, lost in the wilderness, you say. If he's not to be found anywhere around here in the vicinity of the Darkhold, it is possibly made for Whitebrim. To reach it, one must travel through Denifin Pass. The southern end of which lies to the north and east of here. Well, I make no guarantee that your ser search will bear fruit. It is surely better than worrying and idleness. I wish you luck. Oh, and one more thing. You tread warily when climbing the stairs here. Not a moon ago, I near broke my neck when I slipped and took a tumble. Terrible tower design. Don't die. I'm gonna fly off on my fucking terrifying demon baby. The look of this thing makes me so uncomfortable. I may have broken its legs. Hmm. I wonder where we'll end up. <laughs> oh yeah, the Ruby Aether. That's what I call it anyway, because it's like Ruby. It's so pretty. Kratos. Oh, hey. What are you guys doing here? Weeble, we found Biggs, but he's in trouble. Oh. Maybe we don't have to go to the snow cloak. Oh, hey, he's a pugilist. Our orders are to take you back, dead or alive. Which will it be, engineer? Why don't you come and find out, Tinhead? Ah, Weevil. It is well that you are here. The situation is grave. Biggs is in a bad way. We need to do something right now. Yida has the right of it. You'll perish if we delay. With me! I will hit them with my small hands. He's not alone. Kill them all! Oh, Lord. Well. How did you know where to find me? Underground reinforcements are coming! Well, the merrier. I'll pound you all into the next umber era. Eda, less provoking and more pummeling if you'd be so kind. Hey, you know what? I'll... I'll handle these ads as well. Then gods, destroy them! Oh, shit. We will stay close to pigs. Why did why did he run down there? I'm here to help. Things are looking bad. How many of them are there? It's the Empire. They got like infinite fucking men. Well, more than a conductive to merriment. Me to ask, which way, check what you wish for. This is the last of them. Okay, I think we made it. Not even scared. Uh, my, uh, my thanks. Another moment and I uh, would have... Bleh. Ugh. 
He's been too long in the cold. You must find shelter for him. What about the big tower? Monument Tower, you say? Very well. He did, and I shall bear him there with all haste. It'll be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge again. Oh, I love reunions. We just had to murder a bunch of people. But that's okay. Because no one cares about the Imperials. Yeah, no one likes the Empire anyway. That was easier than expected, honestly. I, th I did think we would have to do a dungeon. Boo -hoo -hoo. I cannot thank you enough, Weeble. And the same goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. Oh, don't mention it. Seriously, don't. We are a family, are we not? Well, well, yes, it's just... Just I didn't think... I didn't think I'd ever see him again. A oh, boo -hoo. With a lot of you, my life. And you saved wedges too, Weeble. I'm losing count of how many I owe you. Bwah! Biggs, Wedge, Gods, it's good to see the two of you again. Bwah! Chief, it's you, it's really you! In our hearts, we knew you were still alive. But to finally see you in the flesh. When Alvino took, took me, uh, told me of the raid on the Waking Sands, I feared the worst. What happened? The enemy struck with an area warning. We didn't stand a chance. Wedge and I were in the workshop when they came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials had us at gunpoint. Must have been awful. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How did the Garleans get there so fast? I mean, the Immortal Flame should have seen them coming, right? I myself have asked the same question. That day, when I returned to the carnage of the Waking Sands, I noted not a miss in Horizon. Nothing at all su to suggest the passing of an Imperial force. From this, I conclude that the Garleans came neither by land nor air. Nay, they were born there by potent teleportation magics. Magics of the kind used by the Asians. Carry on. We were bound and blindfolded and bundled into the cargo bay of a waiting airship. Can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came for us to disembark, we found ourselves in the midst of an Imperial stronghold. Astrum Sentry. Upon arrival, we were marched off into the, into the main complex. Biggs and I were thrown into... Astrum Sentry. That's where we're going, I think. What happened next? Well, we were held in isolation for what felt like years, what was probably moons, or maybe only weeks. And then, without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel which we found out was bound for Garlemald, much to our dread. We knew that if we were taken back there, we weren't likely to leave again. So risky though it was, we sabotaged the ship's altitude control and thereby forced an emergency landing. And in the midst of the ensuing chaos, we managed to slip our captors. The rest, as they say, is history. ha <laughs> If I didn't know better, I'd call that a likely story. Sabotaging the altitude controls of an airborne vessel. That will have been Big's handiwork like it's not. You were always resourceful in a tight spot, my friend. <laughs> Weeble, thank you for returning my dear assistance to me. It would seem I owe you, yet another, owe you yet another debt of gratitude. There's still many questions in my mind, but the answers can wait. Minvilli and the others still want for rescue. Notters? Alright, you lot. Garland Ironworks is back in business. 
Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Hurrah! Yay! Bum -ba -da 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 -dum -ba -da -ba. One moment. The boys are back in town. Boys are back in town. Oh. All right. Prepare strategy to rescue Menphilia and the other scions. Thanks to you, Biggs and Wedge are with us again. Now we must find a way to rescue Menphilia and the others. Gods know we've kept them waiting too long already. Based on what we've learned, I believe it's safe to say they're being held at Castrum Sentry. The lot is convenient Revenant Stoll in Mordona. It is as good a place as any to prepare, and better than most. The road leading east then south will get you there. When we arrive, let us seek the advice of the local adventurers. We're bound to learn a thing or two that will benefit our mission. We're gonna go say hi to the Adventurers Guild. Oh. Mordona's pretty cool. It's like a big old castle. I should buy the expansion so that I can get past level 60. <laughs> I got two jobs at 60. Yeah, a miner and a monk. <sighs> Ignore me, I'm just s stretching extremely. Bum bum ba da ba ba da da ba da 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 ba da da ba da da ba ba. Welcome to Revenant's Revenant's Toll. Also, it seems that the Violet is approaching. Ignore the chicken ass. Seems the world has turned into bubbles. I'm sure that's fine. Oh, staff born. Well met, friend. What brings you to Revenant's Toll? Oh, you know, adventure and shit. Did I hear rightly? Your friends are being held captive at Castrum Sentry, and you want to rescue them. I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove... difficult. The stronghold has been on high alert of late. With armored patrols seen around the perimeter around the clock. Not even a fly could get within a hundred yalms of the walls undetected. If the Galleans were alerted to our coming, we cannot know what they will do to Menphilia and the others. We must act with the greatest stealth. All it has to be the good old fashioned infiltration. With security so tight, how are we going to smuggle ourselves in? Why, I have a mind to walk through the front door. We're going to get a big robot. Oh, the front door. I will we'll disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a set of Magitech armor, and impeccable timing. <laughs> That's a bold strategy, but it might just work. Where we are, there's certainly no sh shortages of opportunities to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, we, they don't even they won't even suspect that we savage Aorzeans would think to use their technology. And it's settled. 
you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Glaumund. The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire and happens to know a deal about Castrum Century besides. I've no doubt he'd, that he'd want to be of aid. Nice mustache. Ida and I shall go to reconnoiter Garlean activity at the Stronghold. It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we have the chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Weevil. Let's do this. Off they go. Sometimes I wonder, Ida. There are times when you're not enthused. I'm nothing if not enthused, Yashtola. And you're beginning to remind me of Papalimo. Aw, oh, jeez. Nice. Wait, Alphano, when the fuck did you get here? In the wake of the Calamity, the 14th Imperial Legion occupied what remained of Castrum Novum, eventually rebuilding it and renaming it Castrum Century. The stronghold contains immense manufacturing and storage facilities, and it is the primary supplier of material for Imperial th forces stationed throughout Eorzea. Consequently, it is heavily defended. Infiltrating will not be easy. Nevertheless, it is necessary. Tell them subterfuge, Weeble, or how we will free our friends. I have every confidence that you can play the part of an Imperial soldier. Oh boy, I've always wanted my own Reaper. But Washer and Waxer and Namer and... Weird. Dressing up as soldiers and sneaking in the front door, eh? Eh, well, if you've got the guts to go through with it, then so do I. Basic level plan. Sark Malark. <laughs> in all and every, every and all things, I like my planning perfect and my execution precisely as predetermined. Stickly for detail. That's simply the way I am. Okay. Looking for Klaumant, are you? Well, you found him, whoever you are. Now you're looking to get inside Castrum Sentry and you need my help. <laughs> Something tells me we're, we're going to get along just fine. Something tells me we're going to get along just fine. Aw. Wonderful. One moment. Okay. Be your friends of Castrum Sentry what want for rescue. That Slathborn knows me too well. Ah, oh, you can count on my help. I've got a score to settle with the Imperials, and I never pass on an opportunity to get back at the Horsons. But enough about me, let's talk strategy. Rescuing folk from captivity is right delicate business. Single oversight, just one little blunder, and it's all over. Can't leave any room for uncertainty. For starters, you need to confirm beyond the shadow of a doubt that your friends are where you think they are. You don't want to risk your neck only to discover they've been moved elsewhere. But how can you find out, you ask? By following these instructions. If you approach Sentry from the east, you'll see a swamp land to your left called the Tangle. Get in there, never mind all the marbles, and navigate your way to the southwestern corner. You'll come upon some drainage pipes coming down from the stronghold. Don't ask me how I know, but how I know, but one of them leads back up to the command tower. If you listen closely, you might might be as you can eavesdrop on some of the happenings within. Once we know for certain your friends are there, we'll move on to the next stage of the operation. And get going in God's speed. Gosh, bid. Time for some subterfuge. And still. And by that I mean riding this big ass dog in the front door and kicking everyone. With my tiny feet. <sighs> I do have quite small feet. The Tangle. Ah, there's the Morbles I was told about. That's a plant.
Man, there really are a bunch of them. Oh, how well, howdy. I too will listen at the drainage pipe. Whoa. Nice. Let's try that again. The faint sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. What of the captain? Does she still refuse to speak? She may as well be deaf mute for all the information we've gotten out of her. The others aren't much better. The Ellison gets on my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, it's only to spout gibberish. I do wonder, why is the Tribunus so obsessed with this Menvilia woman? They say she possesses some mystical power, something we Garleans don't have. Mystical power? Like the kind the Beastmen use. How am I supposed to bloody know? If you're so curious, why don't you ask the Tribunus yourself? As well try to tumble her. I like my head where it is, thank you very much. Break is over. As we get back to our stations. Well, that was convenient. The footfalls grow fainter until all is silent. How lewd. So they do have Menphilia at the very least. At least it's been confirmed. Right, dog. Is that a player? Oh, that's definitely a player. That's a player riding around on a Magitek mount. Man, this bubble weather is pretty wild. It's me, I return. Just good to see you again, Weevil. I am given to understand you've conducted some reconnaissance. Tell me, what were you able to learn? So Manvili and the others are indeed a cast from Sentry. Their presence thus confirmed, we may proceed with the mission. While you were afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Where you have the details from him. What do you got for me, nerd? Good work, Weeble. As Alpha Noah has already told you, we've plotted out a course for the rescue. The gist of it is un unchanged. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the stronghold. Blaumont is looking into ways to procure a suit of Magitek armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some preparation of my own. And Vili and the others are counting on us, Weeble. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. Okie dokie. Ba -da -ba. Well, Glaumont goes about devising his plan, we need to see to some preparation of our own. It wouldn't do if the Imperials would have discovered that, we're, that they're short in armor. To prevent this from happening, I'm going to put together a makeshift communications jamming device. The explanation is like to get a bit technical, so bear with me. Imperial forces communicate at a distance via electromagnetic waves. Simply put, voices are born upon etheric lightning energy that permeates the air. Now, the hill-sized cluster of corrupted crystals to the west has been observed to amplify the self-same energy. By making use of this property, we should be able to drown out Imperial voices. To ensure that we have enough amplification, we must identify the most potent crystals among the cluster. For this, I need you to go there and use this device to take readings. I'll mark the most likely places on your map. Oh, and just so you know, plasmoids are drawn to lightning energy. Don't be surprised if you run into a view. That's okay. I'll kick their ass if they try anything. 
We're going to use this as a, a, basically an EMP jammer. Time to fuck with the Imperials. Did I just explode? Ah, it's up above me. Up. That's some prime real estate right there, brother. Two. Three. Oh, here's the number four. Help. My brain exploded a little bit. Oh, boy. Nice. All right, now how do I get up top? Probably through here. Come on, let's go, creepy flying head. Please don't make the noise of me. Lovely. That's pretty easy. See, Mordona's like a big old castle town. It's pretty cool. Oh. Hey, Sid. You have the readings. Excellent. Hey, let me see the numbers. Here's your math, nerd. Yes, four of these crystals should suit our purpose. Though I pray that we won't have any need of their power. My thanks, Weeble. Oh, you're welcome. No, oh, Glauman's done with his thing now. An Imperial salute. <gasps> New emo. In the wax out of your ears, and now, because there's something I want you to do by way of preparation. The plans to have you enter Castrum Sentry all decked out Imperial duds, but a disguise is more than just the clothes you're wearing. You also gotta act the part. At the very least, you need to, to know everything how to perform a convincing Imperial salute. There's impressions or everything, as they say. I could teach you the salute myself, of course, but it's best you learned it from the experts. So get yourself as near as you dare to cast them, Sentry, and watch the Imperials doing what they do. Fine, geez, I'll go watch them. Since you don't want to teach me how to give a salute. Ba, 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 ba. Man, the sky's so pretty. Even though this is probably a terrifying weather effect. And everything is dying. It's just really pretty. Spotlights. They sure are checking out that glyph. Oh my god, it's the Leech King! Oh, there's...
Whew. And a demon. Oh. Cool. Well, that person's fighting a bunch of Magitek. Oh, yeah, this is a fate. Let's help out with it. Experience, but I did get a couple, a couple seals at the very least. Oh, oh my God! Nice. I'm waiting. I am spying. Bird helmet. Nothing to report, sir. We've received an anonymous warning that insurgent forces are near. We must redouble our vigilance. I shall recommend that patrols be increased. Basically punch yourself in the head. You got it. I should probably... No, I guess I technically haven't learned it yet. But I'm gonna say I should probably put that emote on my bar down here, because we'll probably need to use it. I cannot yet. Not yet, I can, eh? Feels bad, man. Just licked his entire body with his tongue. Holy shit. I feel like I'm on. Like I'm riding the fucking Akami, Doug. Wee! Wee! <laughs> That's a lot of fun for some reason. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Lament! So, did you manage to learn the Imperial Salute? No, 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 best you don't demonstrate. I'm liable to fly into a rage and crack skulls, we'll just take your word for it. You've learned the Imo Imperial Salute. Nice. Just to be safe. Let's have it down on this bar here. I demonstrated, are you gonna kill me, Glomant? We get imperial imperial outfits. You were called Weeble Wobble, yes? I've heard of your plight from my friend Glaumant. As a fellow adventurer and son of Eorzea both, I would offer you my assistance. In order to infiltrate Castrum Sentry, you and your comrades must disguise yourselves as Imperial soldiers. The question is how to go about acquiring the uniforms and helms. There are places a man might purchase them. But individuals who deal in such wares are not the sort to whom you would entrust your secrets. It would be more prudent, I believe, to procure what you need via traditional means, and the bodies of their recently deceased owners. 
A fortified area before Castrum Century never lacks for Imperial patrols. It ought not take long to obtain three sets of gear. One for each member of the infiltration team. Diggs, Wedge, and yourself. When you have what you need, please return here and allow me to inspect the spoils. Back we go. And my little hoppy chocolate bunny thing. I may have purchased a lot of Butterfingers for this. But he's very cute, so I'm okay with it. Look at his little hands. Look at his little hands. He's got his little legs. God, he's so cute. Don't know what this thing in his head is, though, though. Though, though. Looks kind of like a diamond. Oh, my God. Marble killing time. Oh shit. Even baby morbles die. Oh, look at this little dude. All oh, the budding morbles are over here. the first time I fought one of these, I sh damn near shot like a proper morbel. I damn near shot myself. Mostly because it was like way too high level for me and it immediately bre bad breathed me. It was real bad. Real bad. And also I had memories of them from past games. So... I had the association of them being like a crazy high level enemy. Made me afraid of them. The fuck do you think you're doing? You puking on me? Gross. There were so many of these boys. Please be the last wave. Oh, 
Ah, oh, shit. Problem. We'll be okay. They're like satanic piranha piranha plants. <laughs> ah, shit. All right. I remember when they were called Malboros. Nice. Got a handful of uh, flame seals from that as well. And also got an achievement. Nice. Let's beat up some Imperial boys. Helmet, a uniform. Gonna drop another helmet. I'm sure they won't think this is uh, suspicious at all. Not suspicious at all. I just slaughtered a bunch of your boys. I'm certain they lose. I'm certain they used to losing random people outside of their base so often by now that they probably don't even think about it when a bunch of them die. They're probably like, "Oh yeah, a bunch of our boys died again." It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. Are we able to obtain three sets of imperial equipment? Indeed. Have some helmets and uniforms. Damaged as I suspected. In the present condition, I fear these uniforms and helms are like to draw suspicion. They must be repaired, if only superficially. Fortune of the blacksmith Eganolf at the Diamond Forge in Rowena's House of Splendor should be able to hammer them into shape in no time. I've already sent word ahead, and I've been assured that he is expecting you. Worry not, we've already impressed upon him the need for utmost secrecy as to the nature of your mission. Alright, let's go get this guy to fix our shit for us. But before we do that, where's my summoning bell? I need to check my retainers. Sold some stuff. Let's get their money. Wow, 10 gil. Wild. Eagle. 
Oh, there we go. That's some money. Build my cash up a little bit. Hello. Hello. Hmm, so you're the venture of Sarkmalog sent, are you? Been waiting for you. Let's see what you got for me. Helmet and a uniform. I see. Ah, yes. I reckon I can hammer these back into shape for you. After all, I owe your friend Sark Malark a favor or two. Took, care of, took good care of old Eganolf back in the days before I fell in with old Rena, he did. Did you know he's the son of one of the wealthiest families in the Sultanate? Wouldn't expect someone like that to end up in the life he did, but I suppose he always felt the venture's life calling him. But here I go blabbering on when there's work to be done. Just hold your horse birds for a moment or two, and the great Eganolf will have your gear looking as good as new. Horse bird. <laughs> A very creative way to call a chocobo. There we have it. Won't do you much good in battle, mind you, but from what I hear, there's not your priority anyhow. You send the Sarkmalak my regards with you. Okie dokie, you got it. Uh, thanks for the clothes, buddy. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Oh. Have you had the uniforms and helms repaired? There you go. Yes, these will serve beautifully. The great Eganolf never fails to impress. The quality of these repairs would a fool would fool even a Legatus. Thus equipped, you should not have any trouble blending in amongst Imperial forces. Unless you fear that the Garleans might detect your foreigners. Foreigners, in fact, form the greater part of the Garlean invasion force in Eorzea. You see, when the, sim when the Empire subjugates a new territory, it assimilates the people of that land into its armed forces. In turn, these conscripted forces are, turned to, are sent to subjugate faraway lands. In this way, Garlemald nips rebellion in the bud and expands its territory in one fell stroke. With that, my part in your mission is done. I'm full glad to have been of assistance to your cause. Hmm? Why would I, a wealthy merchant, wish to help you? I know not where you've heard such a tale, but believe me when I say that I am but a number humble, another humble adventurer, one who only desires to act in the best interests of the realm. I believe you. Bum ba da ba da ba. Good work getting them here, you duds. I'm pleased to hear but I, that I ain't been idle myself. It took me long enough, but I finally fetched a plan to get us a suit of Magitek armor. Now, from what I've seen, Castrum Sentry deploys a Reaper for most of its patrols. The trouble is, the patrols themselves are irregular. Meaning random routes and random deployments. And hardly any of them, any of them come anywhere near Revenant's toll. So hoping to coax the, hoping to coax the Imperials out of their shells... I took the liberty of feeding them a bit of old false information. Told them insurgents had designs on their stronghold. So you're the one who told them that. I remember them talking about that. Hmm. It ain't far from the truth, and now we're coming to think of it. Any road, we should start seeing more patrols than we have up till now. What you need to do is approach one of these patrols, dressed up in your tiny tin suit, and alert him to the enemy's presence. 
Haven't done that, you want to lure them as near to Revenant's Toll as you can. Like as not, though, they'll be wary of entering far from their own walls. If they do need a bit of extra encouragement, use the smoke signal here. Filch fresh from an Imperial Scout. They come running when they see that. And when the cavalry arrives, you hit them hard and make off with the Reaper. Simple as that. If I am mistaken, there's a patrol sweeping the perimeter right now, so run along, eh? Ah, and don't forget the salute. Good thing I got the salute, my thing. Good thing I got the salute, my thing. I put on the helmet. I put on the robe. I put on the helmet. Bird helmet. Wait. This is this not a visor? It looks like that should be able to like move up, but I guess it doesn't. Eh, whatever. Oh god. Whoa! Bum ba 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 ba. Bum ba da da da. Oh! No hop. Do the hop de hop. The hop de hop. I hope they don't find this suspicious. I mean... <laughs> Hello, I'm definitely one of you. All the coin I make doing this one go- doing this goes to the wife in the country. If it turns out she's been squandering on our fancy clothes and Gugas, I will not be amused. Fucking what? Moving your lot the quicker we march, as soon as it'll be over. Hear about these insurgents? Apparently, they've got their eye on the castrum. Person, I'd like to see them try and take it. It served to lift the tedium. I could take it. They say it's our duty to bring civilization to these lands, but what if these lands don't want civilizing? My wife bore me a son not long after I was sent here. Can't wait to go home and meet him. Shame, I'm probably going to kill all of you. Holy shit. Look at this kill zone looking motherfucker. I'm another patrol, are you? The next to your commanding officer, tell him that he leads a sloppy unit. If any of you any of my lot forgot to support salute if any of my lot forgot to salute a superior officer, they'd be on their arse faster than you can say latrine duty. Oh yeah, of course, sir. Carry on, soldier. Hmm. Insurgents is gathering to the east, you say. Judging by your description, they are well beyond the perimeter. They'll not have it said that I was remiss. You return to the scene and keep an eye on those insurgents. Should not go awry, use your smoke signal to call to us. I'll go show you where to go. Ignore the demon that I'm riding on. It's terrifying, yes, I know, but it's probably fine. Let's fly, my little potato sack. Wee! Hold on! Oh, we're going up there. On, make the jump. I shoot the cinnamon into the air. Nice. <sighs> Hope you don't mind my joining. Seeing as we're seizing advanced weaponry, I thought it best to be on hand. Ah, there she is. Oh, 
Not a very good smoke signal. This is the place, but where is the enemy? Sir, over there! Send in the Reaper. Let's, uh, let us make an example of these insurgents. Here we go. Damn. Whoop. That was easy. Somebody's got to take down these guys. Not easy being an engineer. That right, Sid. At last, our very own suit of Magitek armor. You know, wishing to look a gift chocobo in the beak, but it does seem rather the worse for wear, doesn't it? Biggs, Wedge, what's your honest assessment? Well, there is a fact that she's smoking, of course. But looking past that, I'd say she is structurally sound. I don't like the way these legs are buckled. I hate to say this, but the servo mechanism may be damaged. But not those things protected by elm thick armor plate. They are, yes. It's odd, the casing doesn't seem to have taken a blow. I suspect we're dealing with a faulty part. Well, whatever it is we're dealing with, we're not resting until it's fixed. I won't wake asleep, you got that wedge. Oh, cart took a boo. I heard that. He called him a fucking cart took Wowie. A hall has been set aside for a use in Revenant's toll. That's where we'll carry out the repairs. Look for us there, Weeble. Nodders. That doesn't seem safe. But it was very cute. <laughs> How is that thing still moving? Oh, barely is, is how. Fair enough. Alright, give me my proper clothes. Wah. <sighs> Man. Ignore all the yawning. Man, I'm ready to finally get in there. Magitek armor. Send the others took it inside. Go on and then join them. Yes. Yes. Yes! I want my robot. We've now had time to take a closer look at the Reaper. Our preliminary diagnosis was correct. She's structurally sound, but her servant mechanism is faulty. You needn't worry, worry though. Biggs and Wedge will see her restored to her former glory in no time at all. Give those two something to mend, and they will think of naught else until the job's done. It's a marvelous thing to behold. Reminded, provided you remind them to visit the privy. Hmm, but what if I want them to shit themselves? The repairs are proceeding apace. Shouldn't be long now before Biggs and Wedge complete their work. There is, however, one small problem. As you may recall, the machinist server mechanism was discovered to be faulty. Wedge was subsequently has subsequently ascertained that the Magitek core which drives it is worn before beyond use. Such cores are fragile fragile devices which must be replaced at regular intervals. Thanks to the negligence of our Imperial colleagues, however, the one used in this Reaper was long overdue. Alas, we did not have access to a ready replacement here in Mordona. 
The doll is not lost. Wedge thinks he may have identified an alternative solution. Come see him, would ya? He'll explain the details to you. Are we gonna steal him from others? As I believe the Chief has already informed you, the Magitech core is worn beyond use. We need to find a replacement. I thought about having you appropriate more Reapers, but even if the Dunderhead maintenance engineers of Castrum Sentry had remembered to replace their cores, we'd risk arousing Imperial suspicion. Do not despair. I believe there's a solution. To substitute the Magitech core with a Mammoth Heart. In case you don't know, a Mammoth Heart can be used to grant sentience to an automaton. By my reckoning, such a device should be more than capable of regulating the armor's servo mechanism. I just need to make some minor modifications to the housing unit. I've already placed an order for a first-rate mammoth art with the Goldsmiths Guild. All that remains is for some someone to go to Wulda and collect it. And, oh, and to pay for it. Did I mention how much they cost? No? Well, they typically cost something in the order of, um... I hope you don't mind putting the bill. It's for a good cause. I'll make you pay for it, you know. You know that, right? How much is it, you little shit? I'm sure it's fine. Now that I won't have to beat the shit out of Wedge. Beat him like a gill pinata. Minion swap. Oh, hey, we got a mammoth. Very fitting. I didn't want to go there. Ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. Hey, serendipity. I've talked to you before. Hello there, come to collect a mammoth heart, you say? Then you must be on behalf here on the behalf of Garland Ironworks. I've taken the liberty of picking the finest example we have. Art fit for a prince among mammoths. Payment? Though that won't be necessary. The heart is for Master Alpha knows personal use after all. He notified us a short while ago that his man servant would be coming to collect it. Tender in years though he may be, my Master Alpha knows has been a benefactor of ours since my predecessor's time. The Goldsmith's Guild wouldn't dream of charging him. But here's the Mammoth Heart. May it serve you well. Oh, and please do pass on my compliments, dear master. Oh. Well. Okay. I guess. Bye. Makes that easy, I suppose. What was that about manservant? <gasps> I got one of those. It's adorable. I'm gonna go in, hardly need to say, but try not to be seen. Let me in. Let me in! Hey there, you little shit. You have the mammoth heart? Can't wait to see if it works. Is this thing going to talk to us? Hurrah! Thank you so much. Oh, but this is... This is magnificent. Must have cost an emperor's ransom. Yeah, well, it was free, though. Free of charge, courtesy of Alpha, no. Coming from an influential family certainly has its advantages. But without further ado, let's give it a try. I've already modified the housing unit, so it should slot right in. Bing bong, bing bong. There, she's ready. Magitech armor and cage. Or not. <laughs> she just needs a loving tap, I'll wager. Bonk. Uh oh. A little more than a tap, I see. It's going to start talking now. Yeah, she's. She's alive! Let's take her outside and put her through her paces. Weevil, would you care to do the honors? It's sentient now, though. 
It's like a giant metal chocobo with a laser beam. Okie dokie. Hop into the pilot seat. We'll begin as soon as you're ready. First, I'd like you to try climbing that tangle of crystals yonder. As far up as you can go, if you please. Oh, and for, for some reason, you need to dismount them and come back here and we'll start again. Yay. Okay. Hoppity 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 hoppity. It's a very hoppy, very, very hoppy. Anomalous movement evident from either leg. Good. Now jump back down and sprint north as quickly as you can. Ba -da -da -da. Up, 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 up. Let's go! The giant metal chicken. Like absorb joins absorbing all impacts without incident. Excellent. Please make your way back, Weevil. Okie dokie. Hoppity 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 hoppity. Pogo robot. The torso remains stable during vigorous motion. Excellent. And that concludes our test. Thank you for your cooperation. So how's the chicken doing? Here's a summary of my findings. The drivetrain is in sound condition. With some fine tuning, we can expect a noticeable improvement in performance. As for the servo mechanism, I'm afraid it's not nearly as responsive as it should be, and I'm at a loss to explain, explain why. The mammoth heart is in, in pristine condition and should be installed correctly. Perhaps its inner workings are simply too different to operate harmoniously with the armor's other mechanisms. Whereas Magitech cores serve only to conduct impulses, mammoth hearts enable automata to process the information collected by the sensors as of <gasps> feelings. Maybe she just doesn't feel like part of a team. In which case, we should all do our best to make her feel welcome. Welcome friend click friend level sync is in effect oh my god I mean we did make a sentient robot chicken so <sighs> after as it felt I gave it my best I welcomed myself to a bloody stand still what were you expecting it to do anyway? Bob us a curtsy? I think she's cute. No doubt you're wondering why the circuit of a server mechanism is so important as to warrant this silliness. Without it, the pilot would be required to control the armor's every movement manually. This would be an onerous task at the best of times and wholly impractical during battle. Using a mammoth heart in place of the worn Magitek core seemed a promising solution. Alas, the device does not appear to be compatible with Garlean technology. Which are the northern ways we might demonstrate our appreciation to our friend here. Am I at my wits end, Chief? She just doesn't seem convinced. We could try a little dance, perhaps, or tear our heads off. I'll dance. Imperials! They've come for the armor! Damn it, they have us cornered. Oh, hey, it's, it's the officer again. There's the Reaper. Taken by the traitor Garland. And is that the Acon Slayer? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Call for reinforcements! Ah, shit. The hell's you will. EMP out, boy. We located the stolen Reaper. Requesting immediate assistance. Respond. Respond. 
It's no use, sir. There's some sort of interference. There's you, Garland. No matter. If we can't reclaim it, destroy it. Oh, shit. Look at that boy coming. Bloody hells. We will protect the armor at all costs. Okie dokie. I will punch that robot until it stops being a robot. It's what I do. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Stop punching my robot. Dick. Clip, 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 clip. Wowie. Yes, the robot chicken has come alive. Chief, look, she moved. Not now she deigns to grace us with her presence. It's a good while, but we're finally ready. It's time to infiltrate Castrum Sentry and rescue our comrades. Yepers. We protect the robot. Now the robot likes us. There, there's the finish, finishing touch. You spray painter. Oh, of course. That won't give it away. Da ha 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 Yeah, that definitely won't give it away. Gotta save that for after, buddy. You say so. Keep them away from Maggie. The ro <laughs> the robot chicken's name is Maggie. The server mechanism is now fully functional. And all it took was a simple fight to the death. Mind me not to install a mammoth horde aboard, aboard the Enterprise, would you? Much as I love her, I would rather not be required to profess it before boarding. But enough of that, let us see our final preparations. Thanks to Biggs and Wedge, the Reaper is as good as new. But prepared as we're like to get. Nice. Bum ba da ba. How go your preparations, Weeble? We'll, e we'll leave as soon as you're ready. I'm ready. Allow me you came. I thought I'd give you a roar and send off. Tis the least I can do for them fine men and women what are about to make my lifelong wish come true. Well, we'll do our best. It occurs to me for all the help you've afforded us, we know little and less about you. What did the Empire do to earn your ire? Ah, oh, thought I fear I put curiosity before consideration. But understand if you'd rather not relieve those moments. I assume he's Alamegan. Oh no, I don't mind really. Truth be told, a part of me was itching to tell you my tale. Mind you, she's hardly novel. I ain't the first to suffer at Imperial hands. Like most folk, I used to have a mother. She was a sweet, caring woman, and with a smile never far from her face. There was a sister, too. Pretty little thing she was, gentle as a lamb, but tough as nails. We are poor folk living simple lives, but we knew happiness just the same. And then the Imperials came and took it all away. When Alamigo fell, they put my family in a camp. Being a lad, I was made to do hard labor while my mother and sister were forced to do far worse. They had their suffering from me as best they could, but I knew, and the thought of it drove me mad. We had to escape, so I hatched a plan to get us out of the city. We were picking our way around a gorge not far outside the walls when they caught up with us. And rather allowing themselves to be taken again, my mother and sister leaped over the edge before my very eyes. 
How broken as I was, I didn't put up a fight when the Imperials clapped me in chains and dragged me back. It was some years after that I escaped again, and that time I got away. I swore then that I'd get revenge on the Empire and become an adventurer so as to hone my skills and earn the coin I needed. But nine and two decades since have gone by, and what have I achieved? Bugger all, that's what. Not like you lot. You haven't been here ten minutes, you've already done more and I managed in ten bloody years. Give us too much credit, Glaumund. We seek only to rescue our friends. Well, what's more important than that? And any road after you got your friends back, you plan on going after the Empire? Man, don't pretend you ain't. I helped a few folk take on the Imperials over the years, and every time I have, so I've stave off my appetite for revenge. But somewhat, won't, somewhat tells me I won't be going hungry for a while with everything. I, what you've got planned. Are you sure that this will satisfy you? If you wish to strike back at the Empire with your own hand, you only need to say the word. We'd be glad to have you with us. Tempting though your offer is, I'm afeard I must decline. I swear I'd get revenge on the Empire, it is true. But I've long since realized that the front lines are no place for a man like me. Aye, yeah, there's some as would call me craven, but I prefer to think of myself as a realist. My talents lie in scheming, you see, not swordplay. Open folk like you is how I can make the most difference. That's quite enough storytelling for one day. Best not keep your friends waiting any longer. I'll be praying for your safety and success. May Rolger give you strength. You got it, butt chin. Wherever the Empire goes, misery, be, misery invariably follows in its wake. For the sake of all who call Eorzea home, we must put an end to Gaius's ambitions. But first, we have friends to rescue. Biggs, Wedge, and I will wait at the wait east of Castum Century, just outside the stronghold's peri patrol perimeter. Join us when you're ready. Oh, and don't forget to wear your disguise, or this will be the shortest rescue mission in history. Aw, oh, jeez. Or the longest. I can double the length. Make y'all have to rescue me, too. I put on the helmet. I put on the robe. Let's -a go. Oh, 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 it's magic. You know. Is that a samurai? Oh my god. Let's go, behemoth. Right. I broke his legs. I'm sure that's fine. Behemoth. Big ass dog demon. Look at those muscles on his back. Holy shit. Forgive me for saying so, but you quite you cut quite a dashing figure in Imperial Black and Crimson. No, but now is not the time for jests. Bird helmet. A bird. Let's review the infiltration plan. Castrum Sentry lies just beyond. A short while ago, an Imperial patrol left to do its rounds. Alpha No and I will create a diversion out here and keep them occupied for as long as we are able. Meanwhile, the three of you will enter the stronghold, posing as the patrol returning from duty. Should Alpha No and I prove less distracting than hope, I'll contact you via Link Pearl. Be ready to beat a hasty retreat. There he goes. <laughs> swish, swish, swish. He's going to die one of these days from that. Wedge will lead the way in the Reaper. Stay close to him. I hardly need to tell you this, but don't do anything suspicious. What counts as suspicious? 
Unless you want to eat and Yashola left shortly before you arrived. They'd planned that they should linger in the vicinity to cover our retreat in the event that Alpha No and I are attracted too much attention. The approach of an Imperial vehicle forced us to improvise. Don't be too disappointed. They did at least leave a message for you, something along the lines of don't do anything reckless if memory serves. Wise words. Alright, the Imperial Patrol should be returning any moment now. You best be off. Good luck, Weeble. May the Twelve keep you. By the Nine Divines. You really shouldn't have spray-painted Maggie yet. Uh. We're in. No. Oh. You have spirit. That I will allow. Yet you struggle to the benefit of none, least of all yourself. This echo of yours intrigues us. We desire only to understand it. And for that, we need your help. You wish to be rid of the icons, do you not? You would have saved yourself a great deal of torment had you accepted our aid from the beginning. Slapping the shit out of her, goddamn. Tell me everything, and I shall end it quickly. Refuse, and though you beg for death, you shall not have it. Which will it be? As you wish, my dear Minfilia. Unpleasant though it will be for all concerned, you leave us no choice but to employ more rigorous methods of study. Be so kind as to deliver the prisoners to Castrum Meridianum. Yes, me lady. Dang. Oh, there we go. Well, that went well. I'm sure that'll be fine. Hey, I'm here to salute you. You look like a nerd. Oh, my apologies. I didn't notice you there, so engrossed as I was I in my task. You'd be engrossed too if the tribunus commanded you to arrange for the prisoners to be transported. The prisoners do I speak of? Speak of. You mean you haven't heard? Only the infamous signs of the Seventh Dawn captured by the Tribunus herself. If you don't believe me, have a look in the storage tower when next you pass that way. Wow, I'll be sure that I will. Thanks for telling me where they are, bitch. Hey, to Curion. Hello. Mm, that's a fine salute. Part of the maintenance crew from Oxidens, are you? Welcome to cast him Sentry Engineer. What? Prisoners? Oh, you've heard the rumors then? Eh, yes, they're being held in the storage tower, but I strongly suggest you pay them no mind. We're summoned here to work, not to cop it, yours has defeated heroes. Now, show a bit of enthusiasm or I'll have you reported. Okay. I don't want to go to prison. What the fuck are you doing? Hello! Greetings, comrade. Forgive me for asking, but you haven't visited the storage tower recently, have you? I only asked because I dropped something in there and, um... Oh, who am I fallen? I've fallen for one of the prisoners, all right. Just say so you know the one I mean. Eh. This felt blonde? Goodness, no. It's a Lala Felon lass I'm smitten with. She's so adorable it hurts. I want to sweep her up in my arms and squeeze her till my arms ache. What do you, re what do you reckon would take to convince the Centurion to lend me the keys so I can see her? Weird. 
Weird, but okay. What's this? You need access to the storage tower. What business have you there? At the Tribunus's behest, you say? This is highly irregular, but it would not do to make my lady wroth. Take my identification key. See that it is returned when your errand is concluded. Oh, certainly. Certainly. Certainly kind, sir. I'm definitely not going to take this and make copies of it. Security side just as we expected. I need a special key if we want to get past this bulkhead. I've got the special key. Yay. Everything's going just as planned. It's also very purple. It really likes being gloom in Mordona, doesn't it? Hey there, affable Imperial. Prisoners? They're being held in the storage tower, as you should know, soldier. Yeah, 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 yeah. You right, you right, you right, you right, you right. Man. I look at the door. Ah! Devil Sink is in effect. Here we go. This is probably a fight. If and I had to guess. No! And Philia, and the rest. Thank goodness they're safe. I'm the one you want. Leave the others be. If you harm my friends, I swear I shall take my own life, and you shall answer to your mistress. Taru, we must do something. They'll ruin this. We risk letting the entire castrum know we're here. Ah, you're right. We may not get a better chance. This is third squadron. What is it? A reaper? Seized when? And this came to light only now. Cover's blown. The culprits will have left a trail. Take as many men as you need and scour the area. I want that Reaper found. Now's our chance. Bwah! <laughs> the strike my last. Eliminate the intruders. Laser beam. Hey, <laughs> let's go. They got the signifer. You came. <laughs> and bind us, Weevil. Together we may yet win free. You got it. More pressing matters at hands. Don't tell me to do something that I can't do, game. Jeez. Fine, there you go. You are free. Weeble, I was so scared. You want a hug? It was foolish of you to come here. You might have been killed. But th thank you. I shudder to think what might have happened had you not arrived when you did. 
I say, did you not see Thankridge anywhere? I'm beginning to fear for the fellow. Yeah, that's what I was I was thinking about that. Where the fuck did he go? To linger here shall yield us no answer. Let us away ere the window to our liberty closes shut. Yeah, what he said. What did you say? Escaped? Then recapture them. Fail and I shall have your head. And what have we here? The Tribunus herself, just as you said. Give the eye of an arrowman, Nita. Well, she's kind of hard to miss in that showy armor of hers. There's the Scions. How did you slip our defenses? Your defenses are shit, with unexpected ease, if truth be told. There chanced to be a commotion outside the castrum's walls, which allowed us to avail ourselves of the comforts of your vehicle. Your stall is just being polite. That was one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever stowed away in. It's no wonder it's called the Phantom Train. No passenger would be seen dead on it. So you scuttled in, scuttled in amidst the freight, like the vermin you are. I shall be sure to have words with our rat catcher. Such a negligence is unforgivable. That is far from your most pressing concern. First, you must answer for your own wrongdoing, Livius S. Junius. It was you who led the raid on the Waking Sands. You who butchered unarmed men and women for the crime of being unworthy of capture. You killed our friends, we'll never forgive you. Nor shall we suffer you to plague Eorzea a day longer. But take you to your guard. More intruders, protect the Tribunas! Found it, Eda, with me! It was a random, a random ad to just kick their ass. After them! Where is His Excellency? And the hangar, my lady, in discussion with our guests. Alert him at once. Yes, my lady. No, 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 no. Yes. There they are. Fan out and surround them. What am I not allowed to change back? Must protect Tataru. Biggs, I'm going in. See everyone to safety. No, Wedge, don't do it! He took Maggie with him. And there's more. No, oh, no, we will hold them off. I'll look after Menvili and Tataru. Okie dokie. I mean, Menvili can probably hold herself, but... Tataru's like a... like a secretary. All units, emergency stations! Do not let the prisoners escape! Seems like, seem like he can really stop us, though. So. Infernal creation is shielded by energies not its own. Everything is generating its shield must be near. Find it, Weeble. Okay. Well, hey, howdy. Let me put my clothes on. Please. Awesome. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, there's no end to them. I don't see any. Labor in vain. The beast has been divested of its shield. Or blow should not find the mark. Well, they're not where they came from. But they're over there now. I'll get stunned. Why is it over here? There. I got one down. They should be able to survive this next one. Where the hell is the other? Ah, here he is. Da 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 da. Hey, whoa! No oh, shit. You're not getting away. Bring forth the Colossus. What the hell's a new design? And he looks very cool. Have care. It's an iron. Oh shit, it's an iron giant. Where the unknown foe? Now, this is an iron giant. So that's a Colossus, is it? More like a colossal waste of iron. Dude, that's just an Iron Giant from Final Fantasy X. <laughs> just kick his ass. Why'd we go this way? Take the leader, kill the rest. What the? The Astola. Pray, forgive us our delay. heavily outnumbered. Yay. You ditched your Magitek armor. Fool of a Lalafell. You fool of a took. Well, excuse me. She's all yours if you think you can do any better. But there's no one in there. It's a robot chicken. This is Sid. Can you hear me? I need you to come to five, then jump. Understood? You're ready to die. Why? Five. 
Yeah, yeet. Fucking later, nerds. What about Maggie? God damn it. I know not which is Oh my god, there's someone full. The charlatans who rule Eorzea. Or the masses that clamor for their implausible panaceas. I thought this said pancreas. I see that which they cannot. This realm founders for want of a ruler with true power. The power to cast down icons. If you continue to deny this truth, it is the people who will suffer. Embrace reason. Well, excuse me, princess. Well, excuse me. How are you, ghosty? Oh shit, it's Ultima. Oh no. It's here. Twelve preserve us. They finished it. Ultima weapon. So it has a name. It is a relic of ancient ally. Excavated from its resting place deep beneath Alamigo. The Alagans used it to crush primal and foe alike. And now the Garleans mean to do the same. Damn you, Gaius! Look! There! Beside the Black Wolf! An Asian. An Overlord, no less! His garb attests to that. La Habrea! It could only be him. La Hebro. Oh. Thancred. He was La Habrea? No. No, this cannot be. What a twist. <laughs> What's the lore? Well, there could be a lot of answers to that. Oh my god, the cutscene continues. Depends on what part of the world you're asking for the lore of. All that time, the enemy was beside me, and I never even suspected. And to think that it was I who suggested that Thancred investigate the Asians. <sighs> How could I have been so blind? Well, small wonder the enemy knew our every move and where to find us. Uh, confound it all. Well, Thancred isn't wasn't always La Habrea, from what I can tell, because there were cases where, like Thancred was there, and La Habrea was too. So. Yeah. What are you talking about, like, the the world, Ghosty? Like, the story of the game so far? Or what are you... What are you asking about? No. No, this is not the time for self-doubt. The Alliance leaders stake their hopes on the Scions, but now they believe us all dead or missing. When they learn of the Empire's new weapon, we cannot be certain what they will do. We must go and offer them what assurances we can that defeat is not inevitable. Cryo, this is Minfilia. The situation I may have taken an ill turn. Forgive me if I seem brusque. The but the battle is far from over. Is it ready? And so long as we stand together, 
There shall ever be hope of victory. The people of Eorzea falter for want of such hope. Let us provide it. Let us bear to them the tidings that the scions of the seventh dawn are returned. What? What? Hey, Jim. How are you doing? Matters are coming to a head. I hope we can count on you. My regards to grandfather. I am ready. Let us pay a visit to the Council of the Alliance leadership. Yeah, that's gotta be the end. That's gotta be the end of the cutscene. If it isn't... Uh... Oh. Let's take the Black Wolf and his new toy. Rally all available forces. I want them ready to move upon my word. And for later, Slafirson, the order to sail. That is all. The Maelstrom stands ready. What of the flames? Ready as we're like to be. And he'd only give the word to Rawl. Royal. Has there been no word for Mishgard? None. The dragons have got their tongues. Silent to the last. It was unwise to hope for better. What would stir the Archbishop to open his holy mouth if not this? And he claims the fury for his god. It is bad comedy. The Holy See has made its choice. We will proceed without its cooperation. Indeed. I believe we were all acquainted with the terms of the Black Wolf's ultimatum. We must agree upon a course of action. Not less than the fate of yours, he hangs upon the decision of this council. When Balesar claims to wield the power to smite primals, should we yield to him, he pledges to rid the realm of its false gods. Yet offer resistance, and he swears that we shall share the primal's fate. Pardon me by bluntness, but I like not these choices. It is too great a decision for any one of us, one of our nations, to make alone. Choose we surrender or resistance, we, answer, we must answer as one. For if but one surrenders, the rest shall surely fall. Let us pray for the wisdom to do right by all our peoples. All of Eorzea. They has hair. They do has hair. I also has hair. I have very, very, very nice hair. Nice. How are you doing, Jim? All right. Um. Once the people of Eorzea learn that the signs of the seventh dawn have returned, they will surely rally to our cause. We need only sound the clarion call. Is a wig? I'm not wearing a wig. Jeez. Have very nice hair, okay? Don't be mean. Deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. 
Trollalalala. <laughs> what? A weeble. I hope my singing doesn't bother you. I'm rather fond of this little ditty. It reminds me of home. Oh my god, Tataru is Russian. Let's look at my glamours. Ah, yes. This is my mage gear. This is my monk gear. And this is going to be my gladiator gear. Hell, uh, the hat is uh, a work in progress. Yep, that's it. Alrighty. Bankers' polite troubles us all, yet we cannot allow anything to come between us and our goal. So long as the Ultima weapon exists, Eorzea will never know peace. Let us go to the Alliance leaders, Weeble, and help them make the right decision. Okie dokie. Do you think Weeble, was she impressed? Do you think she might consider, you know... I don't think she thinks about you at all, Weeble, uh, Wedge. It wasn't at all how I expected things to play out, but at least we escaped with our lives. So we had to resort to such dramatic methods to escape. Things escalated so quickly that Alpha No and I saw no other alternative. You did give us a... You did give us an out. But we got to be, we got to have a dramatic countdown. Where'd Ida and Papa Lima go? Ida, Papa Limo? Yestola? Where'd they fuck off to? I'm a epic? You are indeed pretty epic. Let's do a minion roulette. What do we get? <gasps> the Black Chocobo! What a lovely little boy. More Vesper Bay Aetherite tickets. <laughs> Grim tidings, Weeble. Seems that word of the Ultima Weapon's existence has already reached the Alliance leaders in the form of an ultimatum. They've gathered in the fragrant chamber and are deliberating their answer even as we speak. Beleaguered as they are, I fear they may well elect to lay down their arms in the belief that surrender will spare their people untold suffering, yet nothing could be further from the truth. That which the Black Wolf offers will do, do Mayors, yet not deliver it, and the leaders must be awa made aware of this. Let us hurry to them, Weeble, and ensure that they do not act, do not act in ignorance of the consequences. The Asians are coming! The Asians are coming! I'm gonna kick our ass! <laughs> uh, yo, homie. Take me to the Husting Strip. Yo, homie. Run fast! Sprint! <laughs> Hello! The Council of the Alliance leaders is presently aware in progress in the fragrant chamber. I must ask you to step away from the doors, sir. I'm sorry. And here on behalf of the Science of the Seventh Dawn. A thousand pardons, my lord. Of course you may enter. Nice. Ah, we keep treading the same ground. Van Belsar's demands are clear. Alas. Our minds are not. I've never been one to shy from a fight. But if this weapon of theirs can do all they claim... It has been five years since the Calamity. And our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Can we now, in good conscience, call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. Conflict, I say, though that would imply forces set in opposition. 
If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror, what meaningful resistance can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. Long have we fought the primals, but to what end? We strike them down at no small cost, only for them to rise again and again. Are we to play this profitless game for the rest of days? I, for one, grow tired of it. Mistake me not. I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. I love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. By the Twelve, though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. Not that I deny there is truth in what you say, nor can I rightly claim that Ulda is ready to fight. Refugees flood our gates, and beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I put on a grand show at the Remembrance Service, made all manner of lofty promises. I've made good on not a bloody one. Do not blame yourself, Raban. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Our citizens had become lost to hope. If our words serve to kindle it in them anew, better we speak than remain silent. Our enemy condemns us for failing our people. Yet what does he care for their well-being? While we labored to rebuild their lives, the Black Wolf built instruments of murder with which to end them. Her Majesty speaks true. For all our failings, the people's well-being has ever been our foremost priority. While none among us ever doubted that the Empire would one day resume its war, we scarcely had means enough to solve the problems of the present. Aye, which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn, alas, they are gone, and the Black Wolf is at our door. Admiral! I fear you are mistaken! Alfinord, Minfilia, and Seven Hells, Master Garland? And you, dear friend. Hi, it's me, I'm Weeble. By Ralga, you're alive. All of you. As we approached, I would swear I heard talk of surrender. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Eorzean way. Hear me, my friends. Accepting Nagalian's offer to vanquish the primals would be folly. Folly, I say. For might is not the answer to the primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters will become. Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them. And mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Nothing is more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Galleon's proposed solution. The true answer lies in a lasting peace. But the Garleans only know war and conquest. Should Eorzea fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. We are not blind to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. I remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm? Remember what you fought for, 
what you were willing to die for. Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. And so I bid you stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. Nodders, nodders. A great man once said that a shrewd merchant grasps not for the quick profit, but invests in the future. Wise words, eh, Raban? Sid, I... Uh... Your words stir and shame me in equal measure. How could I contemplate surrender? I know full well that all we have, we owe to the sacrifices of those who went before us. Yet the seeming hopelessness of our plight robbed me of my insight. We Gridanians have no love for war. Yet we have still less for those who would threaten our homeland. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear. And this shall never change. Gridania will go to war. We will fight the Empire. For the sake of the realm and all who abide here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> chance for great glory and great profit. We all dons who have turned sand into gold know this well. How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair only to have you pluck us out? I fair lost count. Reckless, the lot of you. Like bloody pirates. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round. On account of being a pirate myself. And the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. Those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose. Back down or go down with all hands. Let the Garleans come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa will be waiting for them. If our realm is to be free of this pall of darkness, let it be by our own hands. Eorzea! Yay, Eorzea! Must needs consider how the weapon may be brought to bear against us. The maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. In the meantime, the flames will deploy at. Be at ease, my friends. You have banished our doubts. Pray leave the military matters to us and retire to the waking sands. We will send word anon.
Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Nice. Well, that went well. I'd go right there, but I just remembered that I haven't been to do my fucking... I need to go... Whoa. It's a flying Pikachu. I need to go do my... Uh, my squadron stuff. Is that a watermelon? What happens when you put a phone in a microwave? The phone becomes super powered. Weeble is the size of an ant. It's not true. Even if I am technically shorter than even other... Even other Lilafell. He's not true. Even if I only come up to this guy's knee. Put my phone in the microwave. Uh, do not. Confirm my level up. Brings a tear to my eye to see our little recruits have grown because no one can push them twice as hard. What's next on the agenda, Commander? Ah. Okay, so now I have to send them on mission. Oh. Cyan. A marauder. Yeah, sure, you can come join my squad. Sure. Welcome to the team. Anyone else? Negative. Okie dokie. Let's do mission. in them. Eh. Whoop. That's that. Interesting. My old goat hort that I put up is sold for nine fifty. Oh my god. I need more gill. Alrighty. Let's head out. To Vespa Bay. Oi, to Vespa Bay. Get on my mounted roulette. Oh, we got one of our dogs. Looks like there's a dance party. Oh. 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 Oh, hey, we recruited new boys. My shift number? I don't know, 14. Slapsvis. My dear sister drew her last breath here in battle with the Empire. To her, to fight for Eorzea's future was more important than her homeland. Due to her beliefs, to the end, she was. Feels bad, man. 
man, look at all these new people. No matter how dark the night, once d one day the dawn will break. As long as brave souls like yourself take up our cause, the Scions will never stand down. He got it. Dang. Was that the repair? No, wait, they killed the repair lady, didn't they? As one age endeth and another doth arise, so do our struggles wax and wane. What wouldst thou ask of me? How fair is the realm? Souls from Aether Far, strangers from strange lands, yester with thine eyes and morrow by thine hands. Thou and thy fellow warriors of light have led us from the darkness of the several um, seventh umbral era, as was written in the Divine Chronicles. Your peace is ever fleeting, when the darkness rithe, riseth resurgent. I pray thou wilt bring thy light to bear once more. Okay. Wigston came away with our lives, though our losses weigh heavy in our hearts, and must carry on for those who have fallen. Oh shit, Aaronval! The Alamegan dude! Should have done something, done anything. But I didn't, and now Alaba and Awali are. I will not let it be for nothing. I I will earn this. You can still kick the Empire's ass. I'm going in here. Do the solo. Instead of gratitude for coming to his rescue, Papa Limo called me a scatterbrain. Next time he gets caught by the Empire, I'm leaving him to rot. What a rude dude. Had I not intervened, that Garlean soldier may well have done for Ida. Lowering her guard in the heat of battle as though she were on an evening stroll. How much of a scatterbrain can she be? Dang. What was that it? <sighs> well, at least we cannot falter for being inconsistent. Tee hee hee. The counteroffensive to come will require the total commitment of every allied nation, as well as the flawless coordination of all forces. I pray the Council understands this. We may have surmounted this latest trial, but the worst is yet to come. We must remain focused. I will not see our efforts wasted in futile regret. And as for Thancred, he and I have much to discuss. I think he's been possessed. He hadn't said a word to me since the rescue was all for nothing. Maybe. What's next on the agenda? We're ready to get to work. Build a new airship. For many years, I dedicated my life to the research and development of Magitech, unable or unwilling to see the repercussions of my work. And though I have since left Garlemald behind, its scientists continue to build upon my work. I fear that this, main, this new weapon may be another example of that. An ancient relic enhanced with technologies I created. And even should that be the case... It would still require a brilliant mind to... No. No, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Probably. What'd he do? I understand he gave our fallen brothers and sisters a proper burial. I'm sure they appreciated it. When the Empire is beaten and all of this is over, let us visit them at the church. Still don't know what we did with the... Uh... Oh, wait, no, we sent the Sylph back to Sylphlands. That's correct. well express oh, my shit. relief to think that the alliance came so close to surrender but the fire in their hearts has been rekindled and they will fight to the last this warmth inside did you feel it too grandfather I would know something was that your power at work earlier Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eorzea had lost their way. I merely helped them to find it again. Oh, hello. Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? Who is there? We must needs plan our next move. Pray continue liaising with your respective nations. Sid, 
Would you be our man in Ulda? I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. We haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sankrid's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. That they might work unseen, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as Crystals of Darkness. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. This is a crystal of darkness. A mere replica, created using data obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. Even for an Archon, Thancred's talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. It was for this reason that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the Asians alone. Thancred had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet, it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Yeah, he would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. And the toll taken by his exertions made him vulnerable to Asian influence. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Yet the most perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm and Thancred, I ask that you lend us your strength once more. Okie dokie. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. As I am sure you are aware, the realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain... comparisons. I must confess, you do remind me of them. Yet remember this. However glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. A new darkness threatens the realm, and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are he, a warrior of light, here in the present, guided by the crystal's will. Come, my friends. Let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. Yeah! Awesome. I'm ready to fight. Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh hey, it's one of these. It's a stripper gear. It doesn't look very good on me. Oh, look at my little ears. That looks kind of cool. Hmm. Might just take the money, though. All present? And let us begin. <sighs> We've received the details of the impending operation. 
In what promises to be the largest single counter-offensive in the realm's troubled history, the Alliance will strike at every Imperial stronghold standing upon Aeorzea's soil. As might be expected, the operation will be complex, but you need not commit its intricacies to memory. It is enough that each man understands his part and plays it to the best of his ability. The finer instructions you will receive at each, sta each staging point. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces. From west to east, the Maelstrom of Limsa Lamensa, the Immortal Flames of Ulda, and the Order of the Twin Adder of Gridania. Next, let's examine the locations of the Imperial Strongholds. Near Limsa Lamensa, we have Castrum Occidens, situa situated in eastern Vilbrand, and Castrum Marinum, which lies to the south and east in the midst of the Rotano Sea. Near Ulda, we have Castrum Meridium Meridianum to the north, and the coastal co uh, outpost at Cape Westwind, which connects Castrum Marinum to the mainland by means of a Magitek transporter. Near Gridania, we have Castrum Orions, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelves Wood. And finally, in Mordona, stands Castrum Century, a thorn in the heart of Eorzea. The forthcoming operation will see Allied forces assault each of the aforementioned locations, with the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapon, housed within Castrum Meridianum. As one might expect, the heart of, of the Black Wolf Seat of Power, Castrum Meridianum boasts all but the most but impenetrable boasts all but impenetrable defenses. If we are to breach it, we must needs isolate it from its sister's strongholds. To do otherwise would be to risk being caught twixt Tamar and Danville. The op operation will comprise four distinct phases, all told. The first shall, she is, shall see us eliminate one of the Black Wolves' most trusted lieutenants, Ritachin Sarvina. According to our intelligence, the Perfectus is due to visit the Imperial Outpost at Cape Westwind for an inspection. No, 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 no. Ah, bah, bah, bah. How are you, Freddy? When he arrives, we, just, we shall dispatch an elite adventurer unit to eliminate him. Weevil, we would have you lead this assault. Ratatin is a peerless field tactician. Showing of his leadership, the garrison at Castrum Occidentin Occidents will be a snake without its head. Hey, hi! How are you? Phase 2 will see us sever Castrum Meridianum's primary lines of supply. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I've had a headache for most of the day, uh, but I'll, um, I'll be fine. How are you? As soon as Ritachin's presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Maelstrom will lay siege to Castrum Occidens. At that very hour, the Lamentsin Armada, helmed by the Admiral herself, shall move to blockade Castrum Marinium. Meanwhile, in the Twelves Wood, the Order of the Twin Adder will surround Castrum Orions. Good, that's good to hear. Glad you're doing well. And they'll have the Sylphs to help them. Frixio's been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones. Phase 3 shall see us neutralize Castrum Meridianum's defenses. Forming our main thrust, the Immortal Flames will march against the Stronghold with all their strength. While the enemy's eye eyes are thus drawn outwards, another elite adventurer unit shall infiltrate the Gastrum. Its mission? To disable the Magitek Field Generator, which protects the Praetorium. A fortress within a fortress, wherein the Ultima Weapon is believed to be ours. Weeble, we would have you take command once more. Meanwhile, the Order of the Twin Adder will blockade the railway, which connects Sentry and Meridianum. Preventing the timely arrival of reinforcements from Mordona. A wise precaution. The monstrous locomotive which runs back and forth between the two castra is capacious enough to transport a small army, by all accounts. It is well the Garleans did not think to give it wings. A class soon. Oh no! School? Oh no. 
Once Meridianum's defenses have been compromised, the operation will enter its fourth and final phase. Be back in a minute or two. I'll see you soon. This will see the immortal flames enter the stronghold and suppress the remnants of the enemy garrison. Allowing Weeble's unit to pass them opposed into the Praetorium, where they will locate and destroy the Ultima weapon. It's just that easy. By this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. In addition to the Grand Companies, we can count upon the support of a variety of other parties, from the Pirates of Limsa Lominsa to the Monetarists of Ulda. In all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Legend holds that the Archons were 12 in 1, and 1 in 12. It is for this re reason that our Grand Endeavor has been dubbed Operation Archon. Countless free companies have also pledged their swords, and more join us by the day. At long last, all of Eorzea is rising as one. As before, we Scion shall work in concert with the Grand Companies. Ida, Papalimo, Yeshtola, pre accompany your respective organizations on their missions. Rianche, I would have you represent us in Ulda. Reassure the financiers that they have made a sound investment. When that is done, pray return here and aid in the coordinate coordination of our forces. Kitaru, please assist Orianje in any way you are able, and ensure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. Thumbs up. Benfilia, Sid, and I shall accompany the main host in an adversary capacity. Advisory capacity. I will be. It will be our task to analyze intelligence as it comes into our possession, and make the necessary recommendations to command. As Alphano mentioned, you are to lead the elite unit of adventurers who ta whose task it will be to see each of Operation Archon's main objectives fulfilled. Yours is the most important role of all, and like to be the most dangerous. Pray choose your party well, and stint not in your preparation. The duty finder will serve me well. The battle for the future of the realm is about to begin. Together, let us show the Black Wolf the power of a, uni of a united Eorzea. Let's kick some pseudo Roman ass. Pray report to the Immortal Flames encampment situated to the north of here when you are ready to be briefed on your first mission. I cannot stress this enough, but please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. It's I I always walk in the light of the crystal. It's part of the whole being a god thing. It's pretty neat. Okie dokie. Side quests? Oh my god. Read the riptides and the winds, and brace yourself for the coming storm. Learned as much as when I sailed as a yellow jacket I. The wisdom of the seas has served me well, just as well in land. These tribes are a storm in the Bruin, and neither the Scions nor the city states can allow themselves to be caught unawares. Nay, we must strike first and nip the storm in the bud. I'd start with the kobolds, I reckon they've grown a bit too big of the, for their britches of late. One more thing I learned as a yellow jacket is that your ship is only as steady as your crew. Before taking on the kobolds, I have a mind to round up some new allies. In Camp Overlook, you'll find a crew of pirates who've been given up pillaging and plundering, and now fly the flag of the Maelstrom. I'll bring them on board to fight the kobold menace, but I have a notion that they have an honest plea that an honest plea from yourself would be more convincing. Might you travel to Camp Overlook and speak to Commander Bloyden in my stead? You'd be doing us a great service, eh? Aye. Call upon you as a fell scion weevil to assist our allies in meeting a mutual objective. The Maelstrom needs every sword it can to summon. It can summon to stifle the Sahagan advance. I employ you to journey to Camp, camp Skull Valley, discuss the matter with Falk Breda, and render what remedy you can. Okie dokie. 
Because like the, in, in the end, he was the one who had to go and got stamped fool. He died. 62, 63, 60. Oh, Weeble, just warming up. The operation. We're going to accompany the Gridanians. How many times is that? 60 something. I'd say, Gita, we've the operation to think about, and you're wearing yourself down by exercising. Warmer isn't even correct. It's cheating to swing your arms. I appreciate that you have nervous energy, but there will be no shortage of opportunities to expend it when we go toe to toe against Gridanians. The Garlians. Not the Gridanians. We're not fighting the Gar uh, Gridanians. Gridanians are on, our, are on our side. Hey, Hanako survived. Neat. My dear friends, Abba and Oli came to the Scions with a burning passion to deliver this realm from darkness. Passion that I could never muster. They fought bravely and with honor until they could fight no more. Me, I was never worth much on the battlefield. I wanted nothing more than to honor my fallen comrades to carry on their fight. But how? One day it struck me. I may be woefully lacking on the battlefield, but my mind is sharp enough. I resolved to plot a course of action and recruit capable allies to our cause. One thing is clear to me. We can ill afford to be distracted by the beast tribes with more ominous storm clouds gathering on the horizon. To that end, we must find strong and loyal allies to quell the beastmen menace. You are familiar with the U, perhaps. A tribe of fearsome hunters and huntresses. I'm convinced that they would prove invaluable allies in the battle against the Amalja. If only they could be won over. The U respect strength above all. I fear they'd sooner gut me than listen to my tale. But to you, if you spoke, they would listen. I am certain of it. And so I ask, friend. Travel to Forgotten Springs and speak to a world noon in my, se in my stead. Hey, I'm friends with that guy. We're actually pretty chill. Oh, hey! Brent, Brennan, and Bremen found each other finally. I was eat, lad. I was just telling my brothers about the time these Amalgas saved me from the brass blades. Who would I remember? That's... That's not how that happened. Bren thinks he had a bad try bribing a pirate and see where he gets you. Listen to these two swapping their stories. Life ain't always gotta be an adventure, I say. Me, I'm the sort who enjoys a nice, relaxing carriage ride paired with a nice bottle of Bacchus. Hey, I reintroduced that wine to the world. Chief, to be honest, I don't know where he is or what he's up to at the moment. He's probably busy doing something only he can do. Nerd shit. E. A. Tataru. Suppose it wasn't meant to be. Womp womp. Maelstrom has committed its forces to the operation. In fact, the pirates look forward to their part in this naval warfare with something approaching unholy glee. You need only concentrate on the task that lies before you. We stand vigilant at your back. Each phase of Operation Archon must be executed to perfection, Weevil. The fate of Eorzea hangs in the balance. An unlock quest. Dear friend to the dawn, hear my plea. Tidings most ominous arrive from Gerdania. A primal walketh the shroud. Those who have borne the Eldritch, Eldritch, those who have borne the Eldritch spirit witness, and return to tell the tale of how that never before have they seen its like. The Eldritch spirit, Eldritch spirit. The gods quiver doth investigate as we speak, and meseems Bolord Lewin would welcome a capable adventurer's helping hand. Pray heed thee, pray heed thee to the seat of the first bow and shine thy light upon the matter. Whatever that was supposed to mean. Alright. Let's go do let's go take care of these side quests. Because the Waking Sands has a, ha has a habit of randomly dying, so I want to make sure that I at least take care of their part of the quest. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Flee! To the east! Oh god! There is way more of this quest line than I anticipated. I thought we'd be able to beat it tonight. But, um, 
I gotta go soon. But I don't know about that one. John Stilu. Hello. I'm here to talk to you, the God's Quiver Boat. Hello, Lewin. Wobble, I've heard much of your deeds in we recent days. Come to lend your strength to the primal investigation, yes? Your aid is most welcome. Nice. I shall proceed directly to the matter at hand. Though still unsubstantiated, deal rumors stir amongst the townspeople of late. Rumors of a shadow-clad knight who rides in the shroud. Under normal circumstances, I would pay uh, such idle ghost stories little heed. This time, however, we have reason to suspect. But we have naught to gain by rushing to judgment. But have you go to the streets, Wobble? Speak with the people and hear their words with your own ears. Oh my god, I have to talk to people? Aw, oh, man. The man in black. The galaxy Defember. Defembers. Let me out. Ghost tonight. Oh, I saw him. Cloud from head to toe and armor that seemed forged from shadow itself. Galloping through the shroud atop his hell's born steed. Mark my words. Trees themselves were f quivering in fear that night. And not swept, slept a wing since I returned. I lied. I have to again. Go again. That's fine. Take it a time. I'll probably actually be leaving here soon. I have to watch Jupiter's Legacy. I've heard a little bit about that show. I don't know if it's any good or not, but I've heard about it. I hope you enjoy it. Ah! God, don't sneak up on me on like that. Don't sneak up on me like that, friend. Forgive me, ever since just buying a glimpse of that ghastly horseman, my heart won't stop racing. And the elementals would punish us sooner or later for daring to disobey their will. This is surely a sign of sinister happenings to come. Demons. What if it's just a dark knight? I saw him clear as day. Clear as the night, as you, say, you might say. With my own two eyes. More fearsome than the rider was his ghastly steed. I know not where you've traveled, but I can assure you've seen not more frightening a beast. One thing I can tell you, friend. That was no specter or shadow. Nay, he was as solid as you and me. Watch him turn out to just be a random dark knight. Bum ba da 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 bum ba da 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 bum ba da da do 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 Yes, I saw the Black Knight, after which I promptly fled for my dear life. Should you end up in my position, you'd be wise to do the same. I have my pride, but I'm not fool enough to cast my life away. Besides, one look was enough to know. This is a manifestation of pure evil. Way to turn that massive sword against Cradania, all of our lances is one. Do not hope to stand in his way. It is a dark knight. Big ass sword, shadowy shit. Spooky mount. It's a dark knight. Why is everyone so afraid of him? I'm back from death. Congratulations on not dying, ghosty. How you feeling? Apparently no one in the entire realm has ever met a Dark Knight before, and they're all freaking out. A knight clad in shadow-forged armor, a mammoth sword, and hell's born steed. It's clear now, our worst forebodings have proven most unfortunately prescient. 
Ghostly knight atop his baleful steed. It is as I feared. The rumors bear a most inauspicious resemblance to the references in ancient scripture describing Odin, the dark divinity. Well, maybe he's a maybe he is a primal. It is my suspicion that the dark horseman of rumor is indeed Odin. And furthermore, that this malevolent presence is a primal. And yet, before the gods' quiver takes action, I would seek the counsel of one versed in the holy writings. Make for Quarry Mill and seek out Brother Opesi. Oh, Opesi. I would know what he knows, and be swift, Wobble. If Odin is truly come to the Shroud, time is not on our side. I'm looking forward to a new primal fight. I really like the trials. Uh, oh, stretch. Mm. I really like primal fights. Oh, hey, a behemoth. Oh, hey, there goes the fucking iron giant. Oh, a Pessy. I am a Pessy. You must be the adventure I've, and you must be the adventure I've been expecting. Ah, yes, Odin, the dark divinity. Oh, Lord Lewin is understandably distressed at his arrival. As one who has read the scriptures, however, I am not entirely surprised. Odin, as the ancient writings have it, rode forth into our world, wielding, wielding a dark blade capable of cleaving earth and the heavens. By his fell blade did perish earth herself, and the countless multitudes of her people. At long last, a great hero of Alag did arise to do battle with the dark god. Odin was slain, and his spirit sealed within a forest spring. For years, this was thought to be a mere wives' tale, but a ghost, a ghost story told by mothers to frighten their young ones into obedience. The recent archaeological studies at Alagan ruins have unearthed damning, damning evidence to the contrary. And now these rumors, the scriptures claim that dark divinity slumbers within Earth's fount, deep in the heart of the shroud where the power of the crystal confines him. I ventured into the forest and seen the crystal with my own eyes, but this was many years ago. It is entirely within the realm of possibility that something has gone terribly awry and the fetters of crystal can find the dark divinity no longer. I was into Earth's fount to investigate the matter. Be forewarned. Your path will not be an easy one. Should any evil spirit stand in your way, this water of cleansing should avail you. Water of cleansing? Just gave me some holy water? I mean, I could probably punch harder than the holy water. <gasps> Poofy shirt. I love that shirt. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. Although I'm also pretty, pretty fond of my coat. I actually like this coat. Get out of my way, bugs. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Bum. Bum. Ba -da 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 all right, get out of here. Now kick your ass. Fine. I'll use the quest item. Get cleansed. I just murdered the last Alligan. I'm sure that's fine. I didn't do anything evil. Nice. A Sundered Binding Stone. Uh-oh. <laughs> that sounds good. Get out of my way, big bug. Bum, 
Bada ba ba ba. Let's go, Quentin. Flap harder. One of these days, this boy will learn how to fly. Hey, is that a whale? Hello. Where's the Lingowl that hold the Dark Divinity in check? Be able to ascertain what has become of it. It exploded. Magical energy still remains in this stone, though its powers have grown dim. What's more, behold how the stone has been cleaved clear in twain. By Odin's fell blade, there can be no doubt. Yet there can be no doubt as the identity of our... Yes, there can be no doubt as the identity of our well unwelcome guest. And yet it is almost curious. If the Dark Divinity rides free, why does he tarry in the Shroud? Any road, you are welcome to be... You are to be commended for your bravery, adventurer. Timmy is preparing a report on this very matter as we speak. I'd be most grateful if you could share your findings with her as well. Simi. Simi. Is they in here? Negative. Who the hell is Simi? Oh, they're up there. Why are they all the way up there? I'm out roulette. Come on, puppy. Ninja dog, ninja dog. Dog attack! Though it is indeed as we feared, the seal of Earth's fount has been broken, and the dark divinity rides again. I must draft a report immediately. Oh my god, this quest keeps going. Bum ba da ba da ba. Yo. Materia. Our assistance in the investigation has proven in your assistance in the investigation has proven invaluable, adventurer. You have our thanks. With your aid, I finally managed to complete my report. A thorough survey of all eyewitness reports, along with the most credible theories regarding the Dark Divinity's presence in the Shroud. I intend to deliver copies of the report to Brother Oapesi and Bo Lord Lowen myself. The Scions, too, will no doubt be eager to learn of our findings. I'd be most appreciative if you could deliver a copy to Uriyan Jay in my stead. My duties demand that I remain composed, but in all truth I fear the fate of our people. Should the time come that the Dark Divinity draws his blade against Gridania, promise me that we can count on your aid. Oh, most certainly, most certainly. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You bet, bud. I think we'll wrap this quest up and then maybe go to s maybe end there. Because I also have to be up in the morning, so I couldn't. And I have stuff to do after this, so like I can't continue carrying on after this. After this, our headquarters is up in arms. I can scare, scare, stay abreast of all the going on. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on. You know, a whole war and stuff is being planned. It's pretty crazy. Remember those nice slow days where we were just beating up Ifrit and shit? Those were the days, and now we're at war with the entire Empire. Weeble, I am most heartened by thy safe return. Wert thou able to cast a light on the shadows that haunt the Shroud? So it is true. Having awakened from nigh eternal slumber, the Dark Divinity now rides free in the Shroud. Whilst you were afield, I immersed myself in the scriptures. The more I scoured the words, the more I did realize that the writings draw heavily upon Allegan historical chronicles. History is quite a fascinating, fascinating beast, is it not? One nation's glory is another's suffering. One nation's great hero, another's most aberrant villain. I mean not to speak in platitudes, only to say that there is never but a single side to any story, even a story that is presented as historical fact. At what end did the great hero of Alag see Loden in a gold crystal? What impels the Dark Divinity to ride once again? Cast thine light on the shadows of history, friend, that we might be delivered from the darkness. Wowie. I'll take the crit hit. That didn't unlock anything. 
Maybe it'll unlock stuff later. Well, <sighs> that was disappointing. Anyway, that will be it for tonight. I maybe back tomorrow with something else. Maybe we'll go back to Subnautica. We'll see. But for now, thank you all for hanging out. I hope you had a good time. And I'll see you all later.